this video, we will be seeing how we can utilize a workflow to manage our approval process and assign revisions. In this example, this is the workflow that we will be using. We will start in under editing, which will then go through our approval process. Once we pass approval here, we'll see that we have some actions set up to write variables, execute tasks, and increment our revision. So taking a look at this workflow, let's go ahead and take a look at some files that are in under editing. We'll push them through our workflow until they are approved. Once they're approved, we will see all of the automatic actions that occur. So taking a look at this drawing here with all of my referenced components, I can see currently they do not have any revision value. They're all in the under editing state of my workflow. We'll say that these are done. We finished up the design process here. Our goal is to push them through our workflow and submit them for approval. Here's we, where we can leave any comments. Please review and approve. And I can even go ahead and notify my manager here. So I'll go ahead and I'll change the state. Now that all of my files are waiting for approval, let's go ahead and flip on over to my manager's view. We are now logged in as Brandon and it'll be up to him to approve these design changes. So now it is up to Brandon to decide whether he wants to approve or reject these design changes by changing the state of these files. So how that would look is again, they'd go ahead and change the state and they could say more editing is required or go ahead and pass approval. Let's go ahead and choose pass approval and we can take a look at the automatic actions that occur here. I'll leave a comment saying looks good and I'll change the state here to approve those files. Now that the files are approved, you can see that they've gained revision A here. On my data card, if I go over to the data card, I can see revision A. I can take a look at the assembly. I can see all of the files have received revision A. And I also have this set up to automatically generate a PDF of my drawing that will live on the root of my vault. So if I go back to my vault, I can see I have this PDF folder. It automatically opened up SolidWorks, converted my drawing to a PDF, which I can see we have here, my PDF underscore revision A. And if we look at the preview here of this PDF file, You'll notice that when this file was drawn on, it was checked by Brandon on today's date. And you can also see it was stamped with that revision A right here. So utilizing the, our workflow inside of PDM, we can automatically track our revisions by utilizing the approval process. If you like this video, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.